One of the favorite things I love to do is I, in the morning I take my dog for a long hike for us both to get our exercise for him to relieve himself and afterward as a reward I go to this wonderful little French bakery called La Chitaigne and I have a uh, croissant with French butter delicious and coffee and I sit there and I watch there's always a line and so it's a great people watching opportunity so I was doing that this morning and um, uh, noticing the couples particularly and that triggered an idea for me to write a fictional this isn't exactly what happened at all um, a fictional little short short story that I'm calling coupling at the outdoor cafe I watched the couples there was the hips pressed couple who might have been happier had they stayed in bed. There was the old tired couple, silent. There was the gay couple trying to be conspicuous. And then there's me, 30 years old, wondering if I'm better off solo or should try harder. After all, countless songs, countless novels, countless sitcoms for God's sakes, swoon over love, unrequited love, fulfilled love bittersweet love, whatever, but love is ever the holy grail. The song even says, love makes the world go round. I think back to the exaggerated Match.com ads. I show up at the Starbucks and she's five years older and ten pounds heavier. Then there were the setups that more reflect my friend's eagerness to couple me than clear-eyed assessments. In bars, dances, classes, the supermarket, for God's sake, I perfected a manufactured pleasant expression that looks natural. Maybe because I'm not the prettiest picture in the museum, it rarely works, and if it does, a date or two makes clear that, I don't know, something just doesn't feel quite right. Should I give up and get my love jollies from reading, listening to, and watching all those odes to love? But I don't seem to well enough control my FOMO, fear of missing out. So maybe I need to use an older photo on Match.com. Anyway, um, that's my uh, little story called Coupling. Uh, I think having read it out loud to you, I think I need to make it 40 because that's when you start to want to use a younger picture. But anyway, this, uh, I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. By the way, um, this is the kind of short, short story that's in my uh, new book, Soloists. Short stories, about a hundred of them. Short, short stories of uh, introverts and outsiders facing a dilemma. Uh, it's available on Amazon. Anyway, I thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemko.